Want to empower others on your team with private email, online voicemail access, phone feature management, and individual voicemail boxes? As an AT&T Phone for Business primary account holder, you can if you add sub-accounts. A sub-account has an associated email account. With a sub-account, a user can sign into my at and to get and send email and manage personal phone features. A user with a sub-account can also have their own voice mailbox. Watch and we'll show you how to set up a user sub-account. Go to att.com slash mybusiness and sign in. In your account overview, expand AT&T Internet for Business. Then click Manage My Plan. On the My Internet Service page, scroll down to My Email Addresses. Click Create or Manage Email Accounts. Then click Add a Subaccount. Review the privacy policy and terms and conditions. If you agree with them, click Accept. Complete the account profile. To create a user ID, you may choose one of the suggestions or enter something different. For subaccount holders 18 years or older, you can grant permission to place orders online. Purchases will be charged to your AT&T account. If you want to grant ordering permission, choose Yes. If you agree to the terms and conditions, click Accept. On the next page, choose and answer the security questions and create a PIN. We suggest working with the subaccount user on this step since they will use this information if they need to retrieve a forgotten ID or reset a password. Review the information, then click Continue. You can see the new subaccount on the Manage Subaccounts page. Now the user can sign into My AT&T, send and receive email, and manage phone features. For help, we recommend the video Sign In and Access Your Phone Features. After setting up the subaccount, you can add a voicemail box for the user. To learn how, watch Set Up Individual Voicemail Boxes. Come back to the Manage Subaccounts page if you want to edit or disable the account or to add more subaccounts. As you add and manage subaccounts, keep these tips in mind. You can have up to 20 subaccounts with 10 active subaccounts at a time. 8 out of 10 subaccount holders can have their own email accounts and access to phone features and voicemail. The remaining two will have access to their email account only. Subaccount holders can sign in to MyAT&T but can't view or pay your bill. To learn more, visit our support page at att.com/smallbizsupport.